Okay, welcome to Expressive Yoga. This is Kaur and my name is Kat Thomas. Today we're going to find a little bit of hope and breath on the mat, but we're going to start in a nice standing mountain pose or Tadasana. So let's just start feeling our feet into the mat. Just rock gently forward and back. Feel that connection. Come up on the tippy toes and the ball of the foot. Bring the shoulders up to the earlobes as you inhale and exhale, roll them back. And slowly ground the feet down. Really feel the connection with the toes. Spread them out if you can on the mat. Let's draw that pelvic floor upwards. Take another deep breath, roll the shoulders up and back. Shoulder blades traveling down the spine. Your gaze is forward. We're taking a beautiful look around this first. And we're honoring and giving thanks for all that is comfort and security. This wonderful space that has given you shelter and a home over the last few weeks. Take looks. Maybe give a smile and be grateful and find hope in the sense that this is your safety zone. Let's bring the big toes together. Keep the heels slightly separated, palms of the hands lifting up towards the ceiling. The crown of the head raising gently up. Gaze forward. Take a deep breath in as a group. And exhale, release. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. One more time together. And exhale, sigh, release. Gently close the eyes. Perhaps the body still swaying slightly on the mat. With your next exhalation, allow the muscles in the face to soften just a little more. Let the shoulders drop. Let the hands relax down to your sides. Bring your attention and focus to the breath traveling in through the nostrils and releasing gently through the lips. Feeling the rib cage slowly rise and fall as you fill that space with clean, crisp air traveling in through the nose and back out through the mouth. With your next inhale, feel the crown of the head lifting even taller, as if there's a string of white light gently pulling it up. Feel your spine begin to elongate as you breathe in deep through the nose. And exhale, release back through the nostrils. Allowing the breath of peace and gentle come in through the nose, 
releasing the breath with hope and gratitude. Now seal the lips, begin your oceanic breath. Beginning to feel a little steam bath in the back of the throat as you exhale back through the nostrils. Allow that sound breath to slow the heart, soften the rhythm and flow of blood and oxygen. In this space between in and out breath, set your intention for the day, for your practice, breathing in deeply through the nose. And exhale, steam it out. Bring your attention and awareness to the shoulders now. Let them drop. Feel any tension drip out from the fingertips, wiggling the fingers. Let Mother Earth take that in and renew and make bright and better. Your attention and awareness once again to the rib cages as they rise through each in breath and settle back down with the out breath. Drop the shoulders once again if they're raising. Feel yourself melting and rooting down, bringing your attention and awareness to the feet. Feel that connection. Honor it. Love it. Honor the support and connection with the earth below you. Strong and true. Always there to catch you when you fall so you can get right back up and start fresh. As you take a deep breath in through the nose, release the lips, sigh it out. Perhaps now the corners of the mouth being able to rise gently. Reset that intention with the in breath. Find that pause just before you release and exhale gratitude and hope with your sigh. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Perhaps your intention like mine is making you feel goofy and giddy. Sharing that with you today makes me so happy and excited. I'm feeling a nice, powerful yoga session. <laughs> so let's inhale together, reach those beautiful arms up and over, head slight back, then exhale, steam down the breath. Palms together in front of the heart center, gaze upon the fingertips. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, deep sound breath like HA. Big shoulder roll. Two more times through our trinity. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Palms come together, follow the gaze down to your heart. Inhale, reach those wings high and exhale, release. Big shoulder roll. One more time through our trinity. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Steam it down, follow the gauge. Inhale, slow and powerful. And exhale, spread that hope and gratitude out. 
big shoulder roll. And again, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, slight back bend, swan dive down, take it nice and slow. Let's hang here, forward fold. Let's really focus, draw that navel in. Let the arms float down, taking either side of the elbows. Let's give a little slight bend in the knees. And we'll gently rock the body side to side, stay connected, feet are flat. And come back to center, engage the navel, drop chin to chest, draw the hands in close to the body. As you slowly start to roll up, we're going to connect one vertebrae at a time. As you inhale at the top, bring those arms up and overhead, and then we're going to float them back down, reaching them out in front of us, come as far and low as you can, and start the circle once again, moving in towards our full moon circle as we come into that time. So one full rotation, slow and powerful, just warming up our serpentine spine, really hollowing out the back as we travel upwards. Take a deep breath, big HA as we open up that heart center. One breath for one rotation. And exhale, release. Two more breaths. One more full breath. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. As you reach your forward fold, let the arms float down. Let the head float. Give a little shake. <sighs> Release. Shake out anything unserving, things that hold your mind in a weird or dark area. Let that light shine in there right now. Shake it out. <sighs> and inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop the palm. Walk the feet back to your plank. Set yourself up here. Draw the navel in. Hands are flat on the mat. Draw the heart center slightly up and over the fingertips. And exhale, slowly lower down. Chaturanga heart center comes towards the floor and roll yourself up, upward dog. Inhale and come back to a downward dog position. Set yourself up here, drop the head. Feet are hips distance apart. Plant those hands down on the mat, spread the fingers, draw the navel in and up towards the ceiling. Don't worry if your heels aren't touching the mat. Two more breaths. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Let's walk those tippy toes up towards our hands. Slight bend in the knee. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Slight back bend. Hands come down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Swan dive down. Halfway raise, exhale, drop the palms, walk the feet back to plank, set yourself here. Move through your vinyasa, chaturanga, and back to your downward dog. Let's give those sun salutations a little bit of love and hope. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Walk or jump the feet between the hands. 
halfway raise, exhale, drop down again, inhale, reach those arms up and overhead, slow back bend, hands come down to your heart center. Inhale and exhale, swan dive down, nice and slow. Inhale, halfway raise, exhale, drop the palms, walk or jump the feet back to plank. And move through your vinyasa. And back to downward dog. And let's walk our dog out here. Start pedaling the knees inward. Gaze comes up and under the alternate arm. Should feel a nice opening through the cages on each side. Hands are flat. One breath for each movement. <sighs> Let that head drop. So if you're jumping back in your plank, make sure you're jumping back into a low plank. Protect that body and back. And come back to center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Float or walk the feet between the hands. Forward fold. Halfway raise. Exhale, drop the palms. Walk or jump the feet back to plank and move through your vinyasa. Back to downward dog. Inhale again, reach the gaze forward, walk or jump the feet forward, halfway raise, exhale, drop the hands. Inhale, reach them high in the sky, slight back bend, exhale, down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up, swan dive down. Halfway raise, exhale, drop the palms, walk or jump back to plank and hold here. Set yourself up. And let's bring that right knee in towards the left hand. Stay on the ball of that back foot. Inhale, slowly lift the body up, bring those arms up high. This is a fun balancing act. Drop the shoulders down the spine. Play with your balance. If you fall out, don't worry. The floor will catch you. Draw the navel in, palms come together, exhale, draw down to your heart center. Hold here. And exhale, drop the palms, soften to that back knee, soften to the back of the foot. And let's just rock side to side. Don't roll off that left knee, but just open up that right hip a little bit. Inhale, again, reach those arms up in the sky. Palms come together, draw them down to your heart center. Now you can hang here, keep the breath flowing, navel engaged, adding a little bit of spice and heat, draw that left foot in towards the sit bones. Binders, take your binds. Honor your edge on this beautiful Sunday. As you breathe in, feel the love and energy from the day, giving back hope and gratitude as you exhale. Two more breaths. Binders, release. Everybody drop that foot. Hands come to your waist, square the hips towards the front. Use the strength of your core, find your balance, and slowly start to lower the heart center down. A straight line, the crown of the head reaching outward. Hold here, draw those elbows back behind you. Keep the navel drawn in. Stay on that left knee. And inhale, lift yourself back, straighten the spine, smooth it out. Exhale, drop those palms down on either side of the knee. Curl that leg, 
Drawing the right back to meet the left. Join me in plank. That should feel nice now for that right leg. And on your next exhale, draw that left knee in a little closer to that right hand. Find your balance. Maybe rock a little side to side. Center yourself again. Keep that leg nice and strong and tall. Engage the core as you gently lift the hand sky high. Palm come together, draw them down to your heart center. Exhale, drop the palms, soften to the back of the knee, the back of the foot. Again, inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Palm together and down to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring them down to your waist. Engage the core and start to lower that heart center down. Creating a straight line from the back foot all the way through the crown of the head to the opposite wall. Roll the shoulders back. And inhale, gently lift the body up, palms come down, curl that foot, draw the left back to meet the right. Join me in plank. Take a deep breath in and exhale back to downward dog, walk the dog. Come back to center. Place that left palm really firmly on the mat. Inhale through the center. Exhale. Take that right hand and reach it back. You can grab the outside of your left leg or the ankle. Reach the gaze up and under this extended left arm. And let's steam out that breath as we power through the digestive system. Really feel that belly just constrict. Try and squeeze out those toxins. Maybe margaritas, maybe wine. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. Inhale as you square the body towards the front. Smooth out the spine through one. Inhale as you exhale. Extend that left hand now to the right side. Gaze up and under that extended strong right arm. And steam out. Really push off with that right hand. Two more breaths. One more deep inhale and steam it out. Next inhale, release the hand in front of you. Inhale, come up on the tippy toes, hollow out the back, drop the chin to the chest, draw that navel in. And walk those beautiful toes, stay on the ball of the feet, up to your hands. And drop the heels, forward fold, slight bend in the knees. And just rock side to side, you can roll those shoulders out. Ah. 
Let's flip the hands, placing them underneath the feet, big toe touching the inside of the wrist. Feet are about hips distance apart. Again, you can have a bend in the knees to start. Just press into the hands and pull from the shoulders, from the back. Feel a nice stretch. If you want to straighten the legs, go ahead. Let that head drop. Draw the navel in. Let's use that Ujjayi breath here, sealing the lift. Two more breaths. And gently release those palms down. Nice bend in the knees. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Palms come together. Drop that down to your heart center. Gaze upon the fingertips. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the Ujjayi breath here. Keep that warmth and heat inside the body. We're gonna inhale as we ground that right heel to ball of foot down on the mat. Inhale, lift that left leg 90 degrees and exhale, start to sway it back. Start to come onto the ball of the foot. That front leg stays nice and straight. So if you have blocks here and you like to use them, go ahead. You're gonna honor your own edge. And if you need to, just bring that foot in just a little bit more. We're gonna flatten it down about 45 degrees, facing the opposite wall. Let's inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, swing them back behind you. Clasp the hands, draw them down the back. And as you inhale, you're gonna elongate first, go up and over and start lowering the heart center down, coming to the inside of that right knee. Again, if you wanna use your blocks instead, go ahead and just lower yourself down, giving yourself support here with the blocks, however you wanna do it. Spicier version is bringing the hands up and over the body as you lower the heart center inside that right leg. Draw the navel in, Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths here. Deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly rise back up. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, swing them back down, hands on your hips. And we're gonna slowly start to sink into a slow lunge. Make sure that front knee doesn't go over your big toe. We're gonna turn that back foot out and slowly come down, dropping that knee, softening to the back of that foot. So we're in a nice 90 degree angle, the spine is strong and tall, crown lifting to the top of the head. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead, palms together. Exhale, draw them down to your heart center. Inhale, twist to your right side, and exhale, drop that left elbow above the right knee. Twist, reach the gaze up and over the right shoulder. Press into that back foot, press into the front foot. Really try and engage, lift your belly and your rib cage off the leg. Hands in front of the heart center. Let's power it out, steam out that breath. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, steam it out. Inhale, reach the arms out in front of you. Extend them, palms now facing down. Nice broad T here. So let's use our T as our balance as we curl that foot under. 
Gently lift the body up once again, straighten that front leg. Drop that foot again, 45 degrees, and inhale, reach the arms straight up, fingers are still spread, and slowly sink into a lunge. Come into your warrior one, let those arms float out, pinkies start turning in towards one another. Keep the navel drawn in. Let's really use that ujjayi breath. You guys can definitely sink a lot further. I can't really do my warrior poses with my hips, so I'm just making sure you know you can go low. But you want to make sure on any of your poses where your back foot is turned slightly or perpendicular to the mat, that you're rolling towards the outside of the foot and not letting it roll in. Let's go for three more breaths. Really feel the love and the energy coming in through the nostrils. And as you exhale, giving back hope and gratitude to our planet. If that doesn't make you feel good, hmm. So maybe a little smile on the face. One more deep breath in. And exhale, straighten that front leg. Again, let's turn that left foot onto the ball of the foot. Slight bend as we start to lower those palms down on either side of that right foot. Find your strength, find your balance here. Draw the navel in as you exhale. Draw that right back to meet me in plank. Move through your vinyasa, chaturanga down, upward dog, come back to downward dog. <sighs> Maybe a little sigh as you release, giving your body thanks and praise. Let's inhale, reach the gaze forward, come up on the tippy toes, walk on the balls of the feet as you hollow out the back, drop the chin to chest, come up to the hands, drop those heels, slight bend of the knees, inhale, reach those arms up sky high and exhale, let them float down to your side. Let's inhale, exhale, drop that left foot in front, and place the hands on your hips as you inhale, 90 degree raise with that right foot and slowly draw it back behind you. Stay on the ball of the foot. Keep that front leg straight. Find your balance here and slowly drop that heel down 45 degrees. Square the hips and the shoulders towards the front of your mat. It helps if you come in a little closer. You'll feel a huge difference between being back here on your hip and bringing it into this area. I know it feels better for me. You're able to square the hips and the shoulders towards the front. As you inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, swing them back behind you. You can hold here, keeping that chest nice and drawn high towards the ceiling. Palms sticking together, ujjayi breath. If you want to add that spike, start to lower the heart center up and over the inside of that left leg. Hands coming up and over the body. Drop the head. Feel the breath here. Ujjayi. Keep that heat sealed inside the body. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, again, slow and powerful, lift the heart center up. Smooth out the spine, release the hands. Let's give them as arms a little bit of a wiggle and shake. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, drop the shoulders, let's curl that back foot and slowly start to bend into the right and the left knee. Right knee coming down onto the mat. Left knee 90 degrees. Soft into the back of the foot. Find your balance. Draw the needle in. Scissor the thighs in towards one another. 
and exhale as you draw the palms now towards the heart center. Inhale as you turn to your left and exhale, drop that right elbow above the right knee. Twist and gaze over your left shoulder. Palms in front of the heart center, belly lifted off the thighs and steam out the breath. On my warriors out there. Beautiful. Two more breaths. Steam it out here. As you inhale, turn the heart center forward, extend those wings, spread them out. T, palms facing down, fingertips nice and wide. Find that little focus on the floor or your mat. We're going to curl that back foot as we gently lift the body up once again, straightening that front leg, dropping that back foot 45 degrees. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead, drop the shoulders, sink into your front lunge. Arms come out, pinkies turn in, warrior one. I'm going to modify mine for anybody watching right now. I'm modifying my position. You want to make sure that you're breathing in all of that love and juicy energy. And as you exhale through Ujjayi, you're giving back hope, gratitude. Sink a little deeper if you can. Two more breaths. And on your next inhale, straighten that front leg. Bring the palms together. Turn that left foot to meet the right. Feet are facing forward. Nice straight line from the crown of your head all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring those arms down to your waist, draw the shoulders back, elbows reaching towards one another, draw the navel in, inhale, elongate through the spine, and exhale, slowly start to lower the heart center down, fold here, forward fold, halfway, straight line from the spine through the crown of the head. You want to add some spice, bring those arms out, either side of the ears, shoot out a beautiful color of energy from the fingertips. Two more breaths. Squeeze those thighs in towards one another, draw the navel in, and exhale, drop the hands down. Again, if you're using your blocks, you can bring them in through the center here. Hold there. If you can, bring the palms down. Draw that navel in. Keep the breath flowing through Ujjayi breath. Two more breaths. And inhale, halfway raise, gaze forward, draw the navel in. So we're just going to start slowly walking the hands over to the left side. As we do that, we're going to sink and lunge. So it's a continuous fluid movement. You're going to walk the hands over to the right side and lunge slight this way. And then inhale through the center and go back to the other side. This is a fluid movement. Move at your own pace. Imagine that you're flowing through water as you do this. One breath for each side. That back leg and lunge should stay nice and strong and tall.
One more breath on each side. And when you're finished, come back to center. Let the head drop once again. Extend those pinch fingers out to the big toes. Bring the elbows out to the opposite wall. Draw the heart center in towards the body. Two more breaths. One more deep inhale here. Steam it out with Ujjayi. Bring the palms of the hands to the center of the mat and slowly walk those beautiful feet in towards one another. Keep the head drop. You can have a slight bend to the knees. Bring the toes together. Heels are floating apart. And slowly roll the body up once again. Reach the arms up as you inhale and exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, walk or jump the feet back to plank. Drop one knee at a time, come into tabletop, shoulder distance apart. Draw the hands in a little closer to the body. Let's flip the hands over, fingertips facing the knees. And just hold here, hollow out the back, drop the chin to chest. And exhale, arch the back. Inhale, draw the pelvic floor forward, hollow out the back. And exhale, steam it out, ujjayi breath. If this hurts your wrist too much, don't keep your hands like this. We're just giving them a little bit of exercise. You shouldn't be lifting them at all. One more time through. Come back to flat back. Release the hands back to the other side. And let's just do little circles. Go clockwise first. Palms should be flat, fingertips spread, and reverse counterclockwise. And come back to center, draw the navel in. So while you're here, I want you to just feel the difference. So if you were to arch your back, verse pressing off and feeling the shoulder just kind of spread across the back. This is more where you want to be protracting, really pushing and feeling yourself pushing from the mat, protecting your shoulders. Engaging the core a little more. And on your next inhale, extend the right arm out, extend the left leg, even out those hips. And take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, draw the right elbow to the left knee. Inhale, reach that arm out. And exhale, drop down. Inhale, exhale, bring that left arm out, right leg stretches back, and exhale, knee to elbow. Extend back out and drop the hands. Slow and powerful, one time on each side, one full breath rotation as you move through. You want to make sure you're focusing on your breath and keeping your tripod or your anchor really secure. Even balance, keep that arm straight. Don't let the hips dip side to side. One more breath on each side. Really engage the core as you crunch it in, hollowing out the back. Exhale, 
and come back to tabletop. Come back on your sit bones, roll out the wrists. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, cross the ankles behind you and come down onto your sit bones. Roll over to an easy seated posture. Let's just rock side to side. Start to ground those sit bones into the earth. Maybe peel some flesh away from them as you root down. Spine nice and tall, crown of the head reaching upwards. Drop the shoulders. Draw the navel in. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and exhale, let them float down. Palms come on either side of the sit bones. Just roll the shoulders back, bring that heart center up. Let those knees drop. Feel the spine elongating as you push off with the hands. If you wanna try and lift the sit bones up slightly and then exhale, release. Go ahead, if you have blocks or books, you can use those as your guide. Really using your core here. These little moves, it's obnoxious how much they do. <laughs> Try and keep those arms straight. Two more breaths. And release. Exhale as you extend that left, right leg out, the bottom of the left foot grazing the thigh of that leg. Keep your sit bones firmly planted in. Inhale, reach those arms up and overhead. Exhale, you're gonna drop that right hand down, peace fingers slightly grabbing onto that big toe. Now you can hold here if you'd like. I would say try and swing that beautiful left arm up and over. I mean, do it slow because you can just feel the opening. It feels amazing allowing all that extra blood flow and oxygen through the cages as you drop that left arm above and over the body. So if your hand is coming down here, just stop it. You don't want it to come in front of the forehead or the face. You want it to be up and over. So if this is where you are, just rest here. Flex that right foot. Draw the heart center down. Don't worry if your fingers don't touch yet. Just breathe freely through this side cage. Maybe exhale with a big HA, sending a little extra love and shimmy to the heart center. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in, release. So on your next inhale, now you're gonna turn the heart center as it faces the leg. Reach both hands out in front of you. The crown of the head now straight out in front. Keep that front foot flat. If you're reaching your feet, give them a little massage maybe, or keep the palms down on the floor a little closer to your body. Keep the sit bones rooted down. Two more breaths here. On your next exhale, slowly walk the hands back up towards the body, roll the heart center up, roll the shoulders back. Two more times. And inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. We're gonna turn to our left side and just drop those palms down and lower the heart center down. Again, use your blocks if you want. If you don't have blocks yet, just stay up on the fingertips and lower the heart center down. Make sure you stay rooted with both sit bones. 
So honor your edge, keep that right foot flexed. And inhale, lift the heart center up, come back to center. Exhale as you draw that left foot out. Let's point both of these toes now. Draw the navel in, extend upwards. Nice, smooth, straight spine. Point those toes out. And flex both of those feet. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, draw that right foot in now to meet the thigh of the left leg. Drop that knee, settle down into your sit bones, elongate the spine as you exhale, left piece fingers, take gentle hold of that left big toe. Keep that foot flexed again. From here, just feel the difference. You start rolling in, bring that arm back behind you so that heart center stays open. If you stay here, that's great. Just stay breathing with that big sound breath of HA. If you want to start leaning over, make sure your arm's coming up and over the body and you're not curling in. All that fiery, beautiful energy and light entering through the cages, opening them up, allowing more blood and oxygen to flow free. Two more breaths. Front foot flex still. And slowly exhale, turn the heart center now towards the leg. Both hands reaching for the toe. Use that ujjayi breath now as you're constricting. One more deep breath in as you exhale, release that foot and slowly walk the body back up to center, square off. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, turn to your right, drop those hands, lower the heart center down. Inhale, push off with the hands, reach those arms up and overhead, drop the shoulders. Extend that right foot out, point the toes, elongate your spine, draw the navel in, Ujjayi breath. And slowly let those arms float back behind you, place the hands down about three to four inches behind the sit bones, Fingertips facing them. Roll the shoulders back, heart center comes up. Slowly walk those feet in towards one another. Still about hip distance apart. And we're gonna slowly start to lift our sit bones off the mat, draw them up. If you can, bring the bottoms of the feet down on the floor. If not, just lift the sit bones up, hold here, drop the head back. Nice straight line through the neck and the crown of the head. Honor your edge, three breaths. One more deep breath in, slowly exhale. Drop those sit bones, bring one knee into the heart at a time, give yourself a big hug. Bring the feet together, point the toes, hollow out the back. Two more breaths. And exhale, drop the feet down, hips distance apart. Draw the heart center up, close as you can to your thighs. 
Draw the navel in, nice, strong, straight spine, crown of the head, lifting upward. Bring the arms out in front of you, spread those fingers, palms facing one another, parallel. Draw the shoulders back, so retract here before you move any further. You're going to slowly start to lower yourself down. Just to that point, stay on the sit bones. Draw the heart center up. Beautiful. Now you can hold here. If you want to add a little bit of spice and heat, bring those legs up 90 degrees. This is your low bow. If you want to come into high bow, go ahead. Spice up your day as much or as little as you want. You want to make sure you're breathing, you're drawing your heart center up, drawing the shoulders back. Point those toes, Ujjayi breath. And one more deep breath in and bring the knees together. Draw them into the heart center. Keep those feet pointed and off the mat. Hollow out that back. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale, release the hands, bring the knees back up 90 degrees, retract those shoulder blades. Arms parallel to one another, fingers spread wide. Draw that heart center up a little further. If you want, hold on to your rope, it's there for you. Let it pull you up each time. Four more breaths, you're almost there. You're about to float down on cool green grasses. Soft and nurturing, two more. Again, draw the knees in, hug yourself. And slowly start to rock and roll. Smooth out that spine, massage those kidneys. Two more rolls. And release yourself down, shoulders come down. Knees are still 90 degrees. Keep those toes pointed. Let the knees float hips distance apart. Drop the palms down. Then let those feet flatten themselves out. Use the palms and your shoulders as they stay on the mat to gently lift the hips up. Keep them lifted. Press off from the feet. Feel them grounding in. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. And as you exhale, roll down, connect one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the lower back. Release, bring that left knee in towards the heart. Bring it out to the side slightly and back into the center. Drop that left ankle above that right knee, thread underneath. Hold the hands as you draw that right knee in towards the body. Flex both feet as you inhale and then exhale, draw in a little closer to the body. Shoulder blades are flat on the mat, lower back is settled in.
exhale, drop that right foot down, cross that left leg over the right. And we're just gonna gently roll over onto the right side, spread that arm out on the left, palm comes down, shoulder down. Really engage your core. You can bring those hands in to help. Roll back to center through the breath. Make sure your lower back is firmly in. Release that left leg, straighten it up. Bring the right to meet the left. Smooth out the spine for one breath, flex the feet. And exhale, point them as they come back to tabletop 90 degrees. Inhale as you bring that right ankle above that left thigh. Thread the needle and draw the left leg in towards the body. Remember, flex both those feet, shoulder blades down on the mat. On your exhale, gently lower that left foot down to the mat, cross the right over the left, point the toes, draw them in first through the center and exhale, drop them to the left side, gaze goes to the right, you can use your palm down on the floor for leverage. Carefully engage the core as you inhale back through the center. Extend that left leg sky high, flex the foot. Right and left join together. Palms come down to your sides and slowly lower those legs. Point the toes here. Slower than you ever imagined you could. Through one exhalation of gratitude and hope. Resting on soft, vibrant, green grass. Nourishing and sweet smelling as you close your eyes. As you feel the peace and support beneath you. As your mind becomes quiet, listening to the sounds of the universe. Your spirit soaring above. And as you melt a little more, the muscles soften, the cells open to love and energy. And the mind hears the universe singing Karunaham. Karuna Ham. It is in this breath, in this message from the universe. 
your mind embraces the fact that you are kind, loving, and considerate. And so you listen and embrace the sound of the universe. Karuna Ham. Karuna Ham. With each inhalation, the mind hears Karuna Ham. And as you exhale, accepting your kindness, your lovingness, and your consideration. Karuna Ham. Breathing in loving kindness and exhaling hope and gratitude. Karuna Ha. And you hear yourself now repeating. I am loving. I am kind. I am considerate. Karuna Ham. And as your spirit starts floating back, connecting mind, body, you acknowledge this sweet breath coming in through the nose and being released. Repeating again to yourself, I am loving. I am kind. I am considerate. Karuna As you breathe in and acknowledge this feeling 
Let the corners of the mouth softly rise. Your attention to your body now, connected with the earth, wiggling fingertips and toes. Connect thumb to pointer, thumb to middle, thumb to ring, thumb to pinky, thumb to pinky, thumb to ring, thumb to middle, thumb to pointer. Roll out the wrists, wiggle the toes. Awaken and alive the energy as you breathe it in and exhale gently roll over onto one side. Give yourself a warm embrace and thanks and praise for sharing so much hope and gratitude with our planet today. When you're ready to feel that as well, slowly rise and join me as we seal our feelings, our hope, our gratitude and intentions and practice with the day as we resonate with three ohms. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Oh. for our lives, families, jobs, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. Namaste.